as we continue to watch shares of Facebook. And we're going to get to the broad market picture, and there are a lot of moves that you guys are making today. But I want to focus on this put buying that you've just noticed, and a good amount of it in Facebook. Can you tell us what you're seeing? Sure, Scott. Um, the uh, And it's my second largest holding, so it certainly didn't feel good when I started seeing this one today. But people just came flooding in, and by people I mean most probably uh, a whole lot of institutions, Scott, because this is really big put buying. Um, they've been buying from the 350 puts all the way down to the 330 puts, but the heaviest activity, the uh, 345 puts, 340 puts, 335 puts, all of these trading in excess of 15 to 18,000 contracts. To give you a little bit of a metric, um, the average over the last month that we've seen is about 85,000 puts per day. We already surpassed that in the first hour today, and uh, we've traded now over 150,000 puts in just these first two and a half hours, Scott. That's a lot in Facebook, uh, and we, we know some of the reasons behind it, of course. Uh, the uh, moves by Apple that have really hurt these guys. Um, now they're going to be disclosing more about how much of a hurt this has put on their advertising business, the moves that Apple has made. Yeah. And certainly the acceleration of puts is noteworthy, we thought. A, a bigger impact, um, the company is saying that those changes that Apple has made is, is going to be impacting um, the company. So your, your position here is in stock um, and options, right, John? So, can you give me an idea? Are you doing anything along with this move that you're noticing? Um, I probably, over the last two days, Scott, have sold almost half of that stock position, so it's no longer my second largest. But that's not to say, oh, I avoided the pain. I didn't. I took the pain. I got out of this half of this position. I decided it was just too unwieldy. I do own puts against the rest of my Facebook stock, Scott. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, you know, a pretty bad. We've been trading in a range, you know, roughly in that bouncing back and forth between 365 and 380 for Facebook. When we broke out of that and now plumbing down towards those July lows, I just really didn't want to experience any more pain from that. So like wow. I say, cut the position. It's just like choking up on a bat, Scott. Um, you know, when you're um, not hitting them as hard or as well as you'd like, you choke up on the bat. I choked up on the bat here in Facebook, cut the position back, and bought a bunch of puts against my stock. It's interesting um, that, you know, I'm, I'm surprised to hear you say that you cut your, your position in half. Uh, what was, you know, your, your largest or second largest um, position? So you, you clearly think that this story is, is changing for a stock that, for all intents and purposes, has been Teflon to almost anything, John, that has, has hit it, regulatory or otherwise. Right. Um, but this particular thing, Scott, seems like something that will get analysts to downgrade um, or at least take their targets down. I'll call that a downgrade. I know my buddy Josh would call it a clown grade. Um, but certainly when you've got something that's going to materially impact business like this, the others are all just threats. The threat of uh, intervention by the European Union or by U.S. regulators, those are threats. But something that's material like this is one of the reasons that, you know, I just really didn't want to see uh, the position go down to where Facebook hits 300 or lower, and then I'm chasing, um, trying to get calls against it. I had already rolled down calls significantly, and the fact that they had accelerated the buying of these puts got me, you know, in a position where I just wanted to flatten it out a little more, Scott. Yeah, it's a greater than 4% decline now. We're at the lows of the day. Doc, I appreciate you bringing that news to us, our viewers, um, especially a, sure. a widely held stock. One of the pillars, really, of, of big tech, Joe, um, one of the things that has helped keep the market from experiencing that large